So I feel like a little bit of a reaction video today. And this video came up. It's official open source has won. And it's a rant about the good state of open source and the bad state of Android. It's official open source software has won. You can write documents and build spreadsheets in LibreOffice, create 3D images in Blender, edit photos in the GIMP, paint and draw pictures in Critter, animate in Blender, create vector graphics in Inkscape, create games in Goddard, edit videos in Blender, record audio in Audacity, track camera movement in Blender. All the software you need is free and open source. Adobe is... No, um, no. <laughs> There's still a lot of software, like these headsets here for example that are not free and open source they, they, there's a lot of software a lot of people like to run and use that is not free and open source or any compatible alternatives available defunct sure open source programs can sometimes be a little bit clunky but they do allow you to do basically anything why isn't this true of android sure phones are smaller and less powerful than computers Computers, but there's a lot of things they should be able to do like uh, some uh, mobile phone devices are more powerful than your fucking pc you're running right now also why you cannot do that on android why android is not as compatible and as capable as linux it's basically because android is not linux <laughs> android is a mobile phone device done by a massively predatorial company that is way worse than microsoft and apple combined when it comes to telemetry and data collection and Android devices or, or smartphones and tablets are a really well-knit, limited hardware ecosystem. And it's heavily controlled by Google if you're using Android and I, uh, uh, Apple by iOS. Yes, you can sideload apps for on Android and soon on, on, on iOS, but most people, 99% of people, will still just go to the App Store. So that means that the, your experience on Android and iOS has since the beginning and will almost probably forever be heavily curated by those stores because that's what people have been conditioned in to do and use the stores. You're not getting your grandmother to download an APK or what it's called and sideload that into Android or the equivalent for iOS. She's just going on to the store. And that is why we don't get the same amount of open source shit on Android. Limited hardware, different use case in a lot of instances. And when I say limited hardware, I mean limited hardware, um, accessibility and diversity. And both Android, with Android is not Linux, but both Android and iOS is massively controlled by its creators. Create tunes, create games, write documents, spreadsheets, draw pictures, remove background noise and maximize volume compression from audio like you do in Audacity. Audacity, that's a simple program. Sure, you need to readjust how all the like menus and buttons and everything work to fit it all on a phone, but I think you could do that. Why can't we use it on phones? They've got decent microphones on them. Because there is not a market for it yet. We do have software on both iOS and Android that can do this. If you're on Samsung, the, the memo app or the voice recording app can do a lot of the things that most people needed to do. Advanced audio mixing is not something that's at this point in life or in, in time is being done on an, a pad or a phone or a tablet or a phone. That's why it's not there yet. It's just supply and demand. There's not a demand for it. That's a bonus. What else can't we use on phones? There's a thing that we can't do on Gmail when it's on Android. On Android, which is made by the same company that makes Gmail, you can't actually go, okay, I want to delete all of the emails by this particular company, delete them all. Am I doing this wrong? Should I use Linux on phones? No. I don't actually use Linux for computers. I mostly run open source software on Windows. Well, that's great. But again, why you cannot do that on Gmail on Android? It's a decision made by Android about what, not Android, Google, what they're they think their customers need or want. Like I said, Google is a worse company than fucking Microsoft. It would be nice to have some good open source program for Android. Face it for Android is open source. Draw pixel art is free and very good. F-Droid has like loads of open source programs on it that I've not really gone through properly. They could be good. I don't really know, to be honest. Maybe there are good free open source Android programs. So there is good free and open source Android programs, but why are there not 
many of them. Why do people basically want you to pay for shit on Android? What did I said before? Android is a heavily guarded, heavily governed system by Google. And most people have been conditioned into using one thing, the App Store. What do people like? Money. So what do people do? When they see our Android store that makes it really easy to put like a box sign, you know, one dollar for this app on it. They do it. That's why you could go on to the Microsoft store and buy GIMP for like $20 or something like that. They make it really easy and it's a way for people to earn a quick buck because you like money, everyone likes money. But the expectation doesn't seem to be as high as it should be. Why does Google App Store not list the license agreement? Why does Google charge you for downloading Creative Commons licensed videos? Why do I just said that before. It's because it makes it really, really fucking easy for, for those people that are posting it to get the money. Why does Google make it so easy to pay by accident and then constantly expect you to enter my credit card so that I can pay? Because Google makes a buck. Like, if this don't tell you that Google is a massively bad fucking company and you should stop fucking promoting Google or Android or any Google product whatsoever ever if you're a really free software loving nerd with your fucking, you know, open source tattoos on your ball sack and Richard Stallman on the other one. Stop loving at anything, anything coming out from Google. And here's another thing, the same it goes for Valve, by the way. Valve and Google are probably combined worse than Microsoft, Apple, Sun, Oracle because they are fucking predatorial. If you think you own the game you buy on Steam, look at the end user license. Hey, by accident again. Why is Android locked at 30 frames per second? Actually, this isn't true. Modern, modern phones, it does allow you to do a few other frame rates. But why has it been like that way for so long? Maybe there are good Android programs. There are. The expectation just doesn't seem to be as high. That, 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 that's because this, this is the psychology behind it. If you give someone something for free, they automatically have less expectation, aka you can get away with more shit. If you, if you want someone to pay for something, just a dollar, they now regard that as higher quality stuff and they expect more from it. So you have to deliver. This is like started to high heaven and back and go and research that on, 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 uh, on the interwebs. Free shit automatically in people's mind, not everyone, but most people's mind subconsciously means that, well, it must be of lesser quality or else they would demand or want something in return. Again, there's a psychology behind it. Same pieces of software, someone buys it for a buck. They now have higher expectation and regard it as better quality. They have done studies like that where they are giving people the same product and ask them, some guy for free, some paid a dollar, and that's exactly what they said. If it's a or not a dollar, but they paid for it. And the people that paid for it put it into higher regard and so on and so on. So as a developer or as a production person or someone wanted to sell something, well, there's a steep competition out there. So you're like, well, for someone to be able to, you know, for, 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 for someone to justify paying for my software or whatever the fuck it is, it has to be of a certain standard or else they're not going to spend one, two, three, four, five dollars on it. Where is it if it's free? Take it or leave it. Yeah, I know there's flying dildos all over the place, but hey, it's free. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I know it crashes once in a while. Hey, it's free. You have no fucking reasons to complain. It's kind of a little bit like early access gaming. Why do developers love to make early access gaming? Because they can give you a fucking bad game and basically say fuck you to every criticism because they can just be like hey pro pro did it's an early access game it's beta what the fuck are you bitching about actually a good video i managed to like spend like four or five times the amount this video takes to talk about <laughs> great I, I i like this i thought it was like some fucking open source like uh, going nuts but yeah it's a good video see you all later bye bye